Friends, a blessed day to you all. Welcome to our daily reflection from the Archdiocese of Port of Spain in the Caribbean. We invite you to join us now as we bring this transformative power of God's word into our own reality at this time. Come, Spirit of Truth. Come, Holy Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke 14, 12 to 14. Jesus said to his host, one of the leading Pharisees, When you give a lunch or a dinner, do not ask your friends, brothers, relations, or rich neighbors, for fear they repay your courtesy by inviting you in return. No, when you have a party, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, the blind. That they cannot pay you back means that you are fortunate, because repayment will be made to you when the virtuous rise again. Expect nothing in return. The Spirit and the Bride say, Come to the banquet of eternal life. Scratch my back and I will scratch yours. This is the norm in our world. You are acknowledged for what advantage you can offer. So, we go in front of cameras and trade secrets with those who can serve some purpose to us. Jesus presents the opposite paradigm. Give and do good without expecting anything in return. No worldly recognition. Act simply because God expects it. We are more inclined to act if it serves our purpose. No, if we do this, we will have already received our reward. Our Eucharistic Jesus is a willing captive contained in a little host, neglected and cast aside by the very ones he came to save. Yet, he remains imprisoned until the appointed time of his return, where he will raise those who did not cling to their earthly lives, but willingly gave them up for the promise and hope of eternal life. We bow our heads. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be a world without end. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May He come long upon you, remain with you, preserve you from that evil one, and grant you everlasting life. And the people of God say, Amen. Do have a blessed and pleasant day.